I can't stop eating this. <laughs> okay. Hi guys, my name is Angela and I am a cancer survivor. And um, a year ago, actually, I had what is called a eustachian dilation tube surgery. I think that's what it's called. Um, to dilate my ears to help with the ringing and the pressure and um, the hearing loss that is associated with uh, head and neck radiation damage. Excuse me, I cannot stop eating this stuff. I actually had quite a few people message me, um, find me on Facebook and message me, and Instagram message me, and you know, comment on my videos asking how <laughs> I'm doing post surgery. Um, because y'all know that who, who have watched me, everyone who's watched the, the surgery video, um, knew that, um, I didn't get the results that I was wanting to right away, but we also knew, um, that if we gave it time that, uh, with time, eventually, um, dilating the eustachian tube in the eardrum would help. With that being said, there was also a chance um, that that surgery would completely fail because I am a head and neck radiation patient. Um, I had head and neck radiation, 30 rounds of it. And it damaged all the tissue in my head, basically. Basically. So the reason, the only reason I have the issues with my ear is because of the radiation. And I'm gonna make a completely different video talking about that. Cause I've been really salty lately. I try not to be. Cause I'm thankful that, you know, I'm alive and still kicking and doing strong. But um, I really do wish that um, the radiation oncologists would have been more upfront and honest with me and told me about the long-term side effects of head and neck radiation. Um, kind of like the ear issue. Um, it may have changed my mind on getting head and neck radiation, but that's another video. We'll get into that another time. Long story short, the procedure for me did not work. Um, in fact, um, the ear is worse one year later. So, I don't know. I don't know what this means for me in the future, like a year from now. Um, but my hearing is even worse. I am half my hearing in my left ear is gone. Um, I need a hearing aid and I just keep putting it off and putting it off and putting it off. The ringing is constant. I never get a break. Um, but the one thing that does bother me the most is the pressure, especially I live in the Midwest. I live in Indiana, so like we can have three seasons in one day. This week alone, we we hit almost 70 degrees on Monday, and today it's like 20. Uh, so like the fluctuation in temperature really messes with my inner ear, causes a lot of pressure and pain, and makes the ringing more intense, and that causes vertigo. So this is an issue that I deal with almost on a daily basis. I've grown to become accustomed to it and like I know when a vertigo spell is about to happen and I will remove myself from the situation and lay down I'll take medicine I'll do what I need to do to like help myself because then it revs up my anxiety and <laughs> having all of those issues can throw me into a panic attack on top of all of it it is not fun um but for those people who've been asking, you know, how the surgery went, how I am now, I don't want this to discourage you. I am only one person. The, that procedure is a, a fairly new procedure. They just started doing it on people a few years ago and they actually didn't have anyone with head and neck radiation who's had the procedure before to at least to my doctor's knowledge. So it was kind of like a guinea pig and she did, we did go into it, uh, knowing that there was a 50, 50 chance that it would take. And unfortunately for me, it did not. So, um, 
yeah, like I said, I don't want to discourage anyone from not getting that procedure um, because if you didn't have head and neck radiation, it may work for you. And even if you did have head and neck radiation, it may still work for you. Like I said, I'm only one person. This is just my own experience with it. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or I hope this video was informative. If you enjoyed this video, that would be weird. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'm pretty good at answering people back. So anywho, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.